Hola guys, I'm Diego, and apparently I, well, we're on the server, uh, Code can't hear me right now, I'm just doing a quick clip because he has something he wanted to show me apparently, and then I have to go eat and then I'm going to come back and we're going to do some recording now, he said that I'm probably going to be screaming, so I'm a little bit concerned as to what exactly is going to be going on. And again, unfortunately, he can't hear me right now, so I do have to go... Alright, let's TP to him. And yeah, let's see what's going on. Alright, I... Um... What? Uh, I have a syringe. Okay. Yay! I don't know. I I don't know what that does. It does something important. I'm sure. Oh, we have a beacon somewhere, I guess. I have to fix my video settings. This is going to take a while to figure out. Um, yeah, that's fine. All right. Resistance, jump boost, and speed. Oop. Whoops. Went on another mining trip, and I needed a free put back so when I came back. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, this should be the correct one. Oh, jeez. Come on. What? What is this? <laughs> what did he do? I'm so con I'm so concerned. I don't understand what's going on here. I like this. That that's wonderful. Thank goodness we have the avoid creeper thing because that would have been instant death. That would have been awful. I know. The right <laughs> yeah, he's kind of our redstone guy. So when it's bad, he knows it's bad. Oh, there's water in here. Interesting. I like it. A B too awesome for your computer to handle. Too much Endemirian. Oh brother, that might be a problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, well I'll be back. We're gonna do some recording in a bit. First I gotta go eat dinner and then we're gonna I don't know, take a look at things. Anyways, be back. Hola guys, welcome back. Oop, that's a secret. Um, welcome back, guys. Uh, let me check to make sure it's not v-synced. No, it's just F it's just wraps. Okay. Um, yeah, welcome back. So we're outside of the base. The base is just down there. Now I think I may have shown a little bit of this last time. I don't remember, and I haven't rewatched the episode, so I honestly don't know. But, one of the mods added in here, I don't know which one it is, allows you to do some fun things with 
dragons. I don't know if you can do it with other things, but at least with dragons and dra dragon mounts. Yeah, so it's probably just dragons, I assume. Um, basically, as the mod name suggests, you can mount dragons. You can also breed dragons. And you can get water dragons and forest dragons and aether dragons. No, this is not from the aether mod. This is just a sky dragon, I think. There's a couple other different types. There's the normal ender dragon. There's an ice dragon, which Lord has. No, oh, dragons can only have two offspring, so that's a little bit of a bummer. Um, I believe the eggs, my understanding anyways... <clears throat> sorry, my understanding of the eggs... Oh, ice dragon. That's nice. That looks considerably nicer than Lord's did. I could be mistaken, but that I think that does. Like, see-through wings and things. That... I don't think his was like that. But I could just be mistaken. But yeah, that's really nice. Um, there's a couple other ones. I had a block normal one before. They did reading things. Now, I haven't named him yet. I have a fire dragon. And he's red. I have to name him still. But to keep him from teleporting away, because normally you would have to use a... Uh, bone to tell them to sit and their AI is kind of stupid as soon as you start flying around they decide they need to land on you um, or get underneath you they teleport you're about to breed some like breed more of them ah okay um, but yeah so you put them in the reusable safari net which has a recipe of you know ender pearls and gas tears and there you go. It's fairly cheap if you have lots of ender pearls and, you know, access to the nether. Um, but yeah, so that's that's our dragons. And he's going to breed them. I don't know. I haven't been present for the breeding process. I assume there's something to it. They've got a few breeding pens, um, one of which is over here, just to give you an idea of what they were using, I think, for the forest dragon. I'm assuming it was this one. Uh, it's just basically a cage to keep it in with some wood in the center. I'm assuming the egg goes here. Ow! Leave me alone! Um, and yeah, so it says dragon egg. Oop, it... How, how did you do that? You punched it and it switched to a forest dragon? Does that right-clicking it tell it that it needs to grow? I'm assuming that's kind of like the trigger. Okay. Well, that's cool, because otherwise that would be interfering. Oh, it just slid. Why did it slide? You can change it. What do you mean you can change it? Like, I know that you can change its type. I just don't really understand how. Like, it's forest now. I'm, I'll wait for you to type. <clears throat> oh. Cool. And my general understanding is it's like the 5x5 five five blocks around it is what it uses to test. So like if you pushed it into a corner, it could technically become like a non-forest dragon on its own. Unlikely, but possible. You survived. Cool. Lord's Dragon. His is ice. Oh, yes, that's true. Okay, that makes sense. Well, that's cool. I like that. Ah, I see. Ah, uh, yeah, so that's... I guess the... He's got a hat! A welding helmet. Yeah, fire is fire and lava. And apparently there's a nether one, isn't there? You, I thought you guys said there was, or is that just like the normal, normal fire one? 
Yes, also, apparently, like, world cap is fairly low. Or not fairly low, but... It's up here somewhere. Of our little island. Floating island. Yeah, let's see. I am assuming this was a failed attempt. Okay, so we're only missing two, I assume, then the nether one and the ghost one. Stage two. Lord was saying apparently it, like, changes textures or something. Did it get bigger? Is that egg bigger? <laughs> I'm not really good at this, but it, it looks bigger to me. Oh, get back in the middle of you. There we go. Yeah. So we'll we'll watch it hatch. I don't know how long this takes. Um, oh, what's O? All right. Oop. Does it? It must automatically pick up the end stone. I assume. Just by default. Well, well that's pretty cool. All right. Well, I'm gonna cut here, and I suppose if we wait long enough, we'll be able to see it hatch. Maybe. So I'll cut here and we'll come back maybe in the next stage if it changes. Hola guys, welcome back. Um, we're back downstairs. As you can see, this is where the creeper trap was that Code so elegantly set up, tried to murder us with. Um, little warning here. I'm not sure if this is for me or for Lord. I assume it's for both of us. Um... I guess once this is done, it may be a little bit upsetting. At any rate, uh, this is the power room. I just want to show you guys kind of an updated version of this. Code's been doing a lot of work. He's actually planning on doing a switch over from our current power source to a new one. Um, but just give you guys and give you guys an idea. Um, you remember the sewage and sugarcane system we have from before? Well, it's currently powering. Your system or my system? Because I I showed them a little bit of the sewage and sugar, just not the full thing. Um, so as you can kind of see, there we go. It is actually slowly filling these dynamos with sugar. Yeah, that. well, I've shown them bits and... Actually, you know what? You're right. They probably haven't seen this. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the energy storage room. We have our energy cells... Energy cells are expensive. All right, F. No, numpad three. Um, quick blurb for the energy cells. Resonant energy cell is a redstone energy cell with endurium ingots. Endurium is melted and durium blend with pyrothium dust, apparently, to smelt it. Um, endurium blend comes from a bucket of resonant ender bucket which is basically melted ender pearl in a magma crucible. We really do. You go you go so hard, it's ridiculous. Uh, then pulverized tin. You know what the thing is? If if I kept hosting it, you wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> that that's the one, one restraining thing, is if you're not the one hosting it, then it kind of holds you at bay. Um, then there's pulverized shiny metal. Shiny metal comes from a uh, ferrous ore. I think that's pretty much it. So that's a fairly small drop. Um, your redstone energy cell. Electrum ingots. Lead ingots. Electrum is just silver and tin, or silver and gold. Recipe. I know you, you don't normally go on without us, aside from mining that one day. Oh my goodness. Oops. But yeah, that's pretty much... I kind of goofed that. Hold on. Pretty much the recipe minus one thing. Um, you still have to use the redstone method for filling like you used to in the old ones. 
uh, old builds of thermal expansion, I mean. So this is the one instance where you will be burning redstone like crazy. Um, recipe for the actual self frames here, fairly cheap, I would say, but kind of annoying to get the hardened glass and the redstone and then, you know, the rest of it. Uh, but overall, we've got our dynamos. I have explained the dynamo system and how that's built, so I'm not going to get into that. But right now we've got sewage and we have sugar. I've showed you the sugarcane farm and the sewage farm. Uh, those are actually the least effective fuel types in comparison to some of the other ones, but they're also the easiest to get, so that's why we're using them currently. Um, now, the way the system's set up right now, it, it I keep clicking things. It will actually be able to run most of this. I don't think you went all the way to the top there. That's why you didn't. Um, but yeah, so these are all hooked up maximum to the maximum so they're running as best as they can as you can see we've filled up quite a bit um i think this is what 50 million here yeah 50 million one billion so each one of these is two and a half billion so this is like five billion energy i'm hoping i'm doing my math right one of these stacks is five billion two billion not five billion i'm sorry two and a half billion um no, that's not billion, that's 500, so that would be 250 million. I'm just stupid. I'm sorry. Yeah, anyways, it's a lot of power. Oh. I'm coming, I'm coming. And I'm... Come on! I'm here, I'm here. Oh! It's hatching. It's, it's literally breaking out of its shell. Oh! Go away, spider! Nobody wants you here. I think it would just be hilarious if it hatched and then it just became a spider, like a spider jockey dragon. I think that would be hilarious. But I doubt that's a thing. So we get to see it be born. Now, I could be wrong. I think I remember this from earlier, but I do believe they actually start off fairly small. I would assume this part doesn't take as long as the rest of it, because that would be really annoying. I'm going to watch it like bing, 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 bing. I don't want to watch it come out. It's gradually speeding up. It's like popcorn. Just, you know, you start off the first minute and a half, there's not a single pop, and then you get to like two minutes, it's like... And then you get pop, 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 pop. And then you're done. Yeah. Um, hatch, little buddy. Come on. I feel like if I stand too close, I'm going to get hit in the face. I kind of want to nudge him. Oh, I'm not going to attack it. I don't think that would end well. I'm just going to want to walk into him a little bit, push him around. But it is getting faster. A little bit. I, I th It looks like it's getting faster at my end. And... Okay. It's not really going anymore. I mean, it is, but... It's slowing down for me now. It's not as often. Like Sometimes it goes in bursts of like four or five. Occasionally. It seems to be hovering around like two or three. But I do believe that when it hatches, it's actually fairly... Not fairly small, but like... Smaller than a normal dragon. Oop. Oh, I don't want to see this then. I don't want to cut because I wanted to see. The nice thing about the creepers is the creepers. Hello, creeper. Come here. I dare you to blow up. 
I dare you to blow up. Hey, look. There's a wizard hat. Oh. I want that hat. Apparently I already have that hat. Uh, no, I still am. <laughs> um, I probably will cut here, though, because it's taking a little while. And then I'll just start as soon as it hatches, because, you know, recording and stuff. Oh, look at it. Look at how small he is. I'm worried he's going to attack me. Um, he's so little. He really is tiny. Um, alright, so just to pull this back up. Yeah, so Code of Sand, apparently they start with 10 hearts, and as they grow additional hearts, uh, eventually they reach 30. But as they grow additional hearts, they gradually grow in size. So this can take a while, but they do slowly get bigger. Obviously, this is a fairly small one. Uh, he's so cute. It's too bad you can't ride them when they're that little. You could ride them like a horse. Ride him around. <laughs> he dropped the potato. Go, go zombie. Go zombie. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Uh, yeah. He's little. He's really tiny. Okay, I'm going to go back to the power room and then we'll continue further now, now that he's hatched. Also, while I'm on my, way, on my way downstairs, guys, I thought I'd show you this. This is our elevator room, I guess. It, it's not entirely finished. It's cobble, I guess. Um, but this is actually an elevator added by the Open Blocks mod. Uh, now, in order to actually see the recipes that I'm looking at, what mod is it that does that again? Um, the in-world recipes code. Is that Wayla? Okay, I thought it was Wayla. Uh, Wayla is that wonderful thing that's giving us the blue at the top um when you look at liquid uh liquid ducts and stuff like that it shows you the liquid type yeah, things like that if you press the number pad three if you have a number pad if you don't um, sorry you're kind of out of luck but if you press numpad three it will show you the recipe for anything that you're directly looking at such as cobble and if you press numpad four it will show you what it can be used in so it's kind of like pressing r and u and any i it's kind of a way of doing it without having to dig it up first uh, but anyways elevator eight pieces of wool around an ender pearl uh, and the way it works is you stand on it and you push shift to go down a level and space to go up a level now typically thank goodness there's no more levels hmm. uh, i don't get the reference Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I like it. I get what you're going with that. Um, but yeah, elevators typically by default in the config files, they do require like two levels of experience or something to go up and down. Um, that can be turned off. We've turned it off because we think that's stupid. Like, I'm not fighting mobs so I can use my elevator to travel one floor. I'd just make a giant hole, you know that's more convenient so we turned it off because it's a little bit faster to have one but we don't want to lose our experience uh, so here's the power room like I was saying before we've got our dynamos we've got our resonant energy cells two and a half 250 million per stack uh, so that means that this side of the room alone is 1 billion uh, 250 500 750 1 billion but we don't actually have these two hooked up currently uh, now, at some point, this, I feel like you just went past me, but I could be wrong. Um, at some point, we're going to be changing this whole system over to, I believe, biofuel, e.g. ethanol from forestry. Um, now, the difference with that is we'll be using the compression dynamos versus the reactant dynamos. A very similar recipe. They've got tin and tin gear. Tin gear is just stone gear around tin ingots, stone gear. Wood gear. Why was it telling me we had build craft? Do we have build craft? We have build craft. Apparently, we had a build craft. Don't I feel stupid? <laughs> um, 
yeah, so that's one way of doing it. Um, otherwise, I believe the recipe is literally just like 5, 10, and a plus sign. Um, then we've got more cells. Yes, that's right, facades, because they don't go on everything. The forge multi-part support, or multi-block, or whatever it was. Um, so we've got a lot more here. I think this room alone has a billion there, and then there's two here. So it's it's going to be fairly large and fairly in-depth in terms of actual power that we're going to have access to and set up. I'm not entirely sure what he's putting in here yet, to be honest. Um, probably something aesthetics-wise. I know he's working on the glass. Uh, we were talking about that earlier. Now, to give you guys a basic idea of what's going on here, um, back here we have a wall of magma crucibles. For those of you who don't know how a magma crucible works, you throw something like cobble in just for demonstration purposes and it takes the cobble it burns it down into lava and i'm not going to finish that because that's a waste um yeah i'm, I'm assuming he's going to do some stuff with it this probably isn't final but for now it it works uh, so the magma crucibles you can do that with netherrack which is actually considerably cheaper than cobblestone or you can do it with cobblestone which is fairly expensive but it works pretty well, just takes a little bit of time. Uh, now with the magma crucible, we also have the pulverizer. I'm assuming that's tied in with the... Yeah, I'm assuming the crucibles are for something else. They do make other liquids, um, such as the destabilized redstone. Um, gelid cryothium, yes, that's right. That's that weird... It's in here somewhere. Gelid cryothium, there it is. Yeah, it's a coolant for the uh, compression engines. Because uh, compression needs liquid fuel and liquid coolant. And gelid cryothium is one of the best. Actually, it is the best. It's just really expensive. Um, gelid cryothium, if I could get the recipe to pull up. Where's the bucket for it? There we go. Jet. Lock and a half tall. Nice. Uh, cryothium dust. Just made with blizz powder. Niter, redstone, and snowball. Niter is gotten from sandstone, and it's a fairly finicky recipe. Um, then we have the blizz powder, which is comes comes from a blizz rod, which comes from a blizz. If you don't know what a blizz is, it's basically a blaze, but ice. Um, long story short, in order to get lots of those, we have a... Well, Code has a plan for a witch spawner, because that's the only spawner we have currently. Uh, using mob essence to essentially endlessly spawn blizzes. So that's going to be a thing um, eventually. It's kind of a slow process. Glass on the back wall. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, that makes sense then. All right. Then over here... Uh, the rest of the system, we have the fermenters and we have the stills. Now, fermenters can be used with things like uh, saplings, uh, um, saplings. I believe they can be used with sugarcane, correct me if I'm wrong, code. Uh, but basically, any plant type material, I believe, can go in here and they basically turn it into biomass. Now, biomass itself can usually be used as a fuel. But it's not as efficient as biofuel or ethanol. I really should be calling it ethanol because it's forestry. Um, but it's it's fairly fairly good, but not the best. You can using minimal amount of power actually convert it into ethanol using a still, which is considerably better fuel wise. It's kind of like with build craft with oil versus fuel. It takes a lot of power to convert oil to fuel, but fuel is considerably better uh, in terms of consumption. It's just a pain to have to go through the process. Uh, now the recipe for the fermenter is as such, it's either a bronze gear or it's tinker's alloy, which is the same thing, uh, which is just four bronze ingots around an iron ingot, or if I can get the bronze, yeah, otherwise it's just bronze around stone gear if you have build craft installed. For those of you using the attack of the B team, it's just iron in the middle and four bronze around the edges and we have four pieces of glass well actually yeah well because i guess some of you guys will be using the might have forestry if you add it in 
Uh, then it's four pieces of glass, and then you have sturdy casing, which is four pieces of bronze and or Tinker's alloy, because Tinker's had to do things different. They had to be different, guys. What can I say? Uh, and the other thing we want to take a look at here is the still. The still is basically the same recipe, but it's redstone around the edges with the same sturdy casing in the middle. Uh, and that's pretty much that. That wraps up most of the current power system, I think. Um, gives you guys a good idea of what we've expanded into. Um, also, kind of explain... I'm getting stuck on something. Uh, also, hopefully gives you a good idea of the dragons and how they're born and how they work, hopefully. Um, I don't know if there's anything else to cover currently. I don't think we've done... I'm flying, oh, actually, why am I flying there? I can just TP. Oh, do they? Oh, he's bigger. Forest dragon. Hello. He is bigger. He's like two blocks tall now. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Okay. What does the fire do? What does mine do? Can I like press like space or something and shoot fire? That would be cool. That would be really cool. It melts snow. I don't see it melting snow currently. Oh, that's cool. Oof. Alright. So they have special abilities. That's kind of cool. I guess we'll have to find out what some of them are and maybe explain, well, some of the rest of them and explain that. But anyways, I think that'll probably be enough for an episode for now. I don't know how long I've been going, but kind of kind of a little bit of an update on what's been going on. It probably does. I didn't have it when I just did it now. Um, might have to stand there for a second or two, maybe. I just kind of walked him by. But yeah, I think that's good enough for an episode. So, thank you guys for watching. I've been Diego. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.